one of most advanced excavator factories in the world built here in the Colmar, France. This basic raw material is transformed into a state-of-the-art excavator. This simple steel plating is where it all starts a perfectly coordinated production chain begins. Washing, cutting, to length forming, shaping, welding, coating and finally assembly. The steel plating arm with extreme accuracy down to the micrometer. In order to ensure this level of precision, the rust must first be removed. Just 15 seconds later, everything smooth and processing can begin. The steel plating is transferred to a precision plasma cutting machine. In just one operation nearly a hundred individual parts emerged blinking into the world, all produced from a single plate. An arc cuts through the 80mm thick plate of steel using electrically conductive gas. The temperature at the cutting site 30,000 degrees Celsius. The big advantage of the plasma method, the cutting speed is four times faster than with a conventional cutting torch, which leads to increased overall productivity and accuracy. 20 square meters of raw steel produce 180 individual parts for the excavator. The operation takes just several minutes. In cutting machine shop cuts over 7,000 individual parts in a single shift. They'll be collected for further processing at the allotted time. Bending The Department of Bending and Stamping transformed 5,000 tons of steel and stainless steel per year. All different steps here are complementary, taking the steel sheet from 1 to 20 mm thickness. The bending allows to create a part with a punch in the matrix. The stamping creates the part by hitting. The rolling allows to create rounded parts on mechanical parts. The cut and bend parts continue on their journey over to the welding shop. Humans begin to clamp the various cut parts of the undercarriage and fixings. This is just the preparatory work, the actual welding operation is performed by the robots. Human precision here is of paramount importance, the machines on the welding line may be fast and accurate, but if the parts are clamped incorrectly they can't do anything about it. Transport from one station to the next. The first step the slough ring is placed on the middle section of the undercarriage. Undercarriage the flame at the welding point 1700 degrees Celsius. 32 robots have replaced 24 human workers in this production step. The final section of the welding line. The three elements of the undercarriage are joined. At this station, a worker welds the boom and arm of an excavator by hand. The welding of the undercarriage of the excavator is finished. Finally, the undercarriage of the excavator is transported to the paint shop. First the surfaces are clean, then the workers mask off the areas that must not be painted. Now comes the most difficult part. Precision work under extreme conditions and 40 degree heat and with a respirator. 
The most important thing is that the spraying nozzle is always kept perpendicular to the surface and at a distance of 20 to 30 centimeters. If it gets too close the layer of paint will be too thick. If it's too far away the coat will be too thin. The painters must work very accurately, to ensure the thickness of the coat is just right. If too thinner coat is applied the slightest scratch will allow the primer to show through. If it's too thick the material cost across will creep up and reduce the all-important margin. The parts are now painted. Final assembly for the high-tech monsters. And it's also the start of the final assembly line. The 4-ton undercarriage must first be turned over. This task is performed by a robot in just 50 seconds. The workers can now install the idlers for the track system. The time has come for the tracks to be mounted. Wrapped around two large idlers and nine small track rollers. 49 interlock track links on each side will later keep the 30-ton excavator. The workers install key components are installed in the superstructure every 10 minutes. The hydraulic pump, it supplies the arms and shovel with an oil pressure of 300 bar. This enables the excavator to lift weights of 1.5 tons. The cab air conditioning system all-round view fully soundproof, operator safety is a key consideration for leap air and for the clients. 5-liter leap air diesel engine, manufactured in Bull, Switzerland. This is the process of installing a leap air engine on an excavator superstructure. The workers first install the interior fittings of the cab. One hour of manual work for the seat control equipment and electronics. The workers install the siege. Several dozen black and white cab housings await installation. This is the process setting and installation of highly intelligent black box. This is the all-important operator interface, directly behind the driver's seat. The high-tech device records all key performance data from the superstructure during operation, engine parameters, fuel consumption, oil pressure of the hydraulic system. The cab install on the superstructure of the excavator. Just a few operations to perform, oil and fuel are added to the tanks. Test Zone 1, here the engine is started for the first time, and the functionality and operation of the electronics and hydraulic system are checked. The trickiest and most dangerous stage of the final assembly lies before, that two production lines are united. Undercarriages and superstructures arrive at 10 minute intervals. Final preparations have production line 1, the workers pack the slew ring with grease. This is the junction between the undercarriage and superstructure, where the wheels meet the engine in camp. The massive superstructure will soon be mounted on the slew raid. A special adhesive provides for initial grip, directly after the two sections made contact. But when exposed to the air and only acts for a short time. Once applied every second counts for the workers. The time has come, the so-called marriage can begin. A crane system carries the revolving superstructure, which now weighs 12 tons, 20 meters through the air. The critical moment has arrived. Done! The workers secure the connection, held thus far by the adhesive with bolts. But the entire front section is still missing, a lifting system with massive arms, and flexible hydraulic systems, and the excavating bucket. This is where the critical phase of the excavator arm installation begins. The workers now start assembling the complex articulated arm. Especially important these thin hoses with a diameter of just 2 cm. Hydraulic oil will later flow through them under extreme pressure. The hoses must be able to withstand it, but still be elastic and flexible. The worker checks to ensure they're installed properly. 
The finishing touches, the only thing left now is to attach the bucket to the excavator. The next stop is quality control. Extreme stress tests, strict inspectors. The newly assembled excavators now have to demonstrate what they're capable of. It's finished, a new leap hair or series Litronic is on the move. Thank you.